I am Teacher Ruth, and now, welcome to BCC Kids Church. But before we start our class, let's pray first. I fold my hands, bow my head, close my eyes. Lord Jesus, thank you for this wonderful day. Bless us as we have our BCC Kids Church. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Mga bata, tumayo tayong lahat. Itaas ang kanang kamay at ilagay sa kaliwang dibdib at sabay-sabay nating awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Oh no! What happened to our verse? Can you help me arrange your verse? Great! Is it this one or this one? Is it this one or this one? Can't hear you. Next, is it this one or this one? Can you say it louder? Last 
but not the least, is it this one or this one? Say it louder! We finished our memory verse. Now, can we recite it all together? Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Thank you! Hello kids! How are you today? My name is Teacher Juby. And I'm Teacher Morgan. I'm Teacher Gray. And I'm Teacher Arian. Today, we're going to learn a new song. Are you ready? Everybody stand up! Jesus loves you Bum 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 Knows you very well Bum 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 Wants to be your friend Bum 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 Jesus loves you Bum 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 Jesus loves me Bum 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 Knows me very well Bum 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 Wants to be my friend Are you excited to listen to our story today? If you are, shout Jesus! Let's go to our story. But before that, let's first thank Family Circus for allowing us to use these materials for today's story. Now let's go to the story. The title of the story is Pedro Sees the Light. What's the title again? Very good. Pedro Sees the Light. Today is a special day. It is Pedro's 13th birthday. So this is Pedro, his father, his mother, and his younger sister. Pedro's father is a fisherman. What does his father do for a living? Yes, very good. He is a fisherman and he has his own fishing boat. Pedro has been waiting for the time when he can use his father's boat all by himself. As long as he can remember, he has wanted to go to the sea all by himself, but he could not. It is a tradition in their village that a boy cannot go out fishing alone in a fishing boat until he's 13 years old. When can Pedro use his father's boat? Yes, very good, when he is already 13 years old. Today was the day Pedro dreamed about. Pedro is so excited at last, he can now use his father's fishing boat. He says, Father, Father, you promised, can I now use your fishing boat? Remember? Oh yes, I remember, today is your 13th birthday. Okay, son, you can have it, but be very careful when you sail. Pedro excitedly answered, Oh, thank you, Father. I promise to take care of the boat and I'll try to bring back many fish. Pedro sailed out very eager and excited. He sailed as fast as he could and soon he reached a place where he was sure there would be fish. Now let's do a hand fish like this. And known to Pedro from a distance, his father, mother, and sister saw a storm coming and they started to worry about Pedro. His mother said, Oh, Papa, we must do something to help him come back. I'm so worried about Pedro. Oh, no! Pedro is in trouble because of what? Very good, because of storm. Pedro's father replied, We'll do something. The sun is still shining here. We'll flash a mirror so that he sees a light from here and can return to us. So what does the father plan to do for Pedro to come home safely? Yes, to use a mirror. Pedro had been concentrating on bringing back fish to his family. He was surprised by the storm. Here he was on the deep sea and in the storm all alone. He was very frightened. He saw the lightning and the loud thunder. 
Oh, I'm so frightened. What am I going to do? Oh, how I wish I never sailed or that I forgotten that today was my birthday. Lord, look at the big waves. It's like they're going to eat me up. Help me, Jesus. He prayed. Help me, please. What did Pedro do in the storm? Yes, very good. He prayed. To whom did Pedro pray? Yes, to Jesus. How about you? When you are in trouble, do you pray to Jesus? Very good. That's the right thing to do when we are in problems. Pedro's family were worried and began to pray. Oh Lord, please help our son Pedro. Bring him back here safely. It's his birthday today. Please help him. Pedro's father continued to flash the mirror, praying to God that he would see it and know the direction to come home. What did the family do for Pedro to come home safely? Yes, first, first they use a mirror to reflect the sun's light for Pedro to see the direction. Second, the family prayed for Pedro. The family of Pedro have Jesus in their home as their Lord and Savior. And every time they are faced with a problem, they turn to the Lord and seek His help. Jesus never failed them. Yes, they have problems, but God always helps them and gives them peace in their hearts. Pedro was very frightened by the storm. He saw sharks and the waves continued to grow stronger. How about you? Are you afraid of sharks? Yes, just like you, Pedro was also frightened to see sharks and big waves in the storm. The lightning and thunder became even louder. He cried out to the Lord, Jesus, please save me. Then he remembered the story his father told him about the disciples of Jesus when they sailed with him. On the middle of the sea, a big storm appeared. They were also frightened. They cried to Jesus and Jesus calmed the storm. Jesus calmed their fears away. Oh, Jesus, please take my fear away. He prayed. Suddenly, he saw the reflection from his father's light. He knew his family was praying for him. The storm was just bad and the sharks still continued to surround him, but he no longer felt alone. Jesus to us is like that mirror. He continues to flash his light to us so that we'll see him in the midst of our storms in life. He is the light who guides our way back to God. Pedro saw the light from the distance. That must be home. Father loves me so much. I know he is flashing that light to help me and show me the way home. I won't give up. He prayed, Lord, help me get back home. Thank you, Jesus, for Papa's light and your light. Pedro paddled as hard as he could. Do you consider Jesus as your light? If you do, then that's very good. Filled with trust in Jesus, he reached home safely. Oh yes, Jesus helped me do it. I'm home. Let's say that with me. I'm home. Very good. We're going to celebrate my birthday together. Remember, it's Pedro's birthday. It's his 13th birthday. Pedro exclaimed happily with Mama's tearful but joyful greetings. She hugged Pedro tight. His father hugged him too. Oh, they were very happy to have Pedro back home. And together, they praised Jesus for helping Pedro in that stormy sea. Pedro personally thanked God for calming his fears and for being his light in that storm. The whole family celebrated Pedro's 13th birthday. It was the most unforgettable birthday experience he ever had. Pedro proved that Jesus was there even in a storm. That ends our story. Do you like that story? Let us check if you really listen to our story. Let me ask you these questions. First, who is the main character of this story? Very good, it's Pedro. Why is that day special? Yes, because it's Pedro's 13th birthday and it is the day when he can sail the boat all by himself. And lastly, what did she learn from this story? 
Yes, indeed, Jesus is the light that guides us way back to God. And since God already gave us the light, let's show the light to our family, to our mama, papa, to our brothers and sisters, and even to our friends. Let's show God's light to them through our lives. Can you do that? Yay! Very good! And that's all for today. Hi kids! I am Pedro and today is my birthday which I will be celebrating with my family. But wait! Hmm... Something's missing. Can you tell me what's missing? That's right! A birthday cake! Now I need to get to the cake shop. But in order for me to get there, I need to go through a tunnel. Can you help me go to the cake shop? That's great! Come on, let's go to the cake shop! The tunnel! We're here! But it sure is dark in there. There may be spiders or creepy things. Are you scared of the dark? Oh, well I have just the thing to shake the fear off. Come on, let's dance. Bum bum bum. guys I already feel better very very good very very good very good very good very very good now do you see something that I could use in the tunnel something that may be a source of light this one how about this one or this one of course Candle. I could use that as a source of light in the tunnel. Come on guys, let's go in the tunnel. <laughs> Woohoo! We're out of the tunnel! Thanks guys! The candle was a big help since I could see everything around me and it helped me go in the right way. Now to the cake shop. Bum, bum, bum. Oh no! The light! It's so dark! And I can't get to the cake shop if it's too dark. But wait! I have things in my backpack that could help me see in the dark. Hmm. Let's see. Markers. Coin purse or a flashlight. What could I use in the dark that may be a source of light? That's right! A flashlight! <laughs> Finally, we're here, guys! Very, very good! Very, very good. Very good, very good, very, very good. Without your help, I would not have been able to pass through the dark tunnel and the dark path. And without the light, just like Jesus, we would not have finished our journey. Remember guys, Jesus is the true light of my life and your life. Come on, say it with me. Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light. 
Jesus is the light. Nice. Now I can finally have my birthday cake and celebrate with my family. Thank you again for your help. But before that, let us dance. Bum bum bum. Hello kids! So this time, we will have our memory verse. Now, can we recite it all together? Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of light. Thank you! You've done so well kids! That's all for today! For our next Sunday episode, we encourage you to download our materials and you can see it on the comment box below. Be excited because we have more activities next week. Alright, now as we end our class today, let's help you close prayer. Please follow me. I hold my hands, I bow my head, and close my eyes. Jesus, thank you for being our life. Help us to become a light to our families and friends. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much, kids. See you next Sunday. Special thanks to the following. BCC Sunday School Team, BCC Multimedia Team, and Family Circus Children's Ministry Davao for allowing us to use this material online. And this has been BCC Kids Church. See you next week!